Hey there everybody and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're going to be talking about gifts and gadgets for musicians. Maybe there's something that you've been wanting for a while or maybe there's something you didn't even know existed. Well today I'm going to take you through a list of items that I think you might be interested in. If you like the content today make sure to hit the like button and for future videos if you'd like to keep informed and notified, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll get all of my new videos as soon as they're released. Well, let's get right to the list. So let's talk about the first item here. This is the Snark ST2 Multi-Instrument Chromatic Tuner, which I did a review on. This tuner can connect to any instrument, whether it's a band instrument or a string instrument. Its tuning is very precise. It's very easy to use, and you can see by the price, it's not super expensive. It's $12.99. Very easy to clip on any instrument, and uh, it's just a, a great instrument or a great tuner for any instrument. So if you haven't seen my review on this yet, I'll leave a link down below for you to go and check it out. Now, if you weren't interested in a tuner for band instruments and you just wanted one for guitar, bass, and violin, then this would probably be the one that you would look at here. This is the Snark SN5X. This is the current model. It's slightly cheaper. It's $11.95. All of the Snark tuners are amazing. Like I said, I'll leave a link down below for you to check out my video review of some of the Snark tuners. They are uh, amazing. I've been using them for at least two decades. Very accurate, very easy to use. If you happen to be a string player, this is something that you might look into. This is a capo, and you can use capos on acoustic, electric guitars, uh, this is actually a two-pack for $9.99, and you can see it comes in silver and black, or you can also get this in rosewood color. These are great for uh, using on your guitars. They work for ukuleles also, any string instrument, and uh, you can't beat that. Two for $9.99. If indeed you are somebody who plays a string instrument, guitar, this is an awesome uh, stand by OnStage. OnStage is definitely a brand that's very trusted. It's actually a deluxe folding double guitar stand. Also comes in triple. And you can see $30.95 for the double, $36.95 for the triple. Again, I'll be leaving links down below in the description. If you want to click on any of these and read any of the ratings or any of the other description items, for these particular items that I'm talking about. You can't beat this for the price. Something else that a lot of people don't think about, and I'm actually looking into these myself, I don't have them yet, but I will be purchasing these in the future. This is a guitar stand kind of hook. Uh, they call it a string swing guitar hanger, and it's a wall mount. So uh, I think this is pretty cool. It's definitely gonna save you floor space in your studio or home you know this wood block you just screw it into your wall and then this hanger screws into the wood block here and then you can hang your guitars on your wall which is kind of a really cool thing and then it looks really neat just hanging on the wall uh, but you can get this for $13.99 they also sell these in multi-packs so you can buy them Here's right here, string swing three pack for $39.97. They also sell them in two packs. Again, I'll leave links down below, but this is a really convenient way to hang and showcase your string instruments. So the next item in this list today is this book by Eddie Green. It's called On Teaching Band. I purchased this book and I read this book and it was really cool to find out that a lot of the things I had already been doing in my classroom he did in his classroom and it really paid off and it gave him a band that was a super high performing band and then of course there were some things in there that I learned that I should have been doing you can't know everything so it's great having a book like this it's a great resource there will be tons of things in this book that you will actually learn so that you can go into your classroom. If you're a teacher, you can apply these methods and hopefully get the same kind of results that he got and that I'm getting in my own classroom. But it's a fantastic book, well worth the price, $20 for paperback. So let's talk about software. Sometimes there's some things that uh, you don't even know exist 
but it's a super cool item. I actually have done several of these uh, backing tracks and they're so easy and super to do, super fun to do in Band in a Box. They're actually releasing the new version right now, but I brought out this 2019 version because you can see that it's, it's pretty cheap, $99. This is the basic one. Uh, you get everything you need to create backing tracks, but basically what you do is you go in and they have the music listed in measures and you go in and you put in the chords that you would like to appear in that measure and then you choose all your real instruments and and things that you would like to have in that backing track and it creates the backing track for you I have several of these on my YouTube channel and I'll put links down below if you would like to go and hear what these sound like but it's a very cheap way to get backing tracks. It's a great way to create things to use for your jazz band or just for you to practice along with or work on your improvising. Another piece of software that I enjoy using is Mixcraft. There's different versions of this. I happen to bring up the one that was Mixcraft 9, the Pro Studio. You can get this as low as $80. Again, I'll put links down in the description with the different uh, versions of this. But this is super, super cool. I've used this with my, my own family. My son likes using it. I've used this in my classroom, uh, in my general music class. Uh, what I would do is I would give the kids a, a little clip from a movie and I would have them score that movie clip using Mixcraft. It's a loop-based program. So you arrange the loops and you can cut them and splice them together in any way you want and create these really cool sounds. You can use it for backing tracks, you can use it doing assignments like I said uh, where you get a uh, video clip and you can do the scoring to it or you can just create pop songs. If you have a microphone you can sing along with your backing track. It's a really cool software. So if you have any kind of studio at home or you want to get started on creating music in your computer then you're going to need audio interface. I currently have this interface. This is the PreSonus Studio 24C. It is an awesome interface. Uh, what I really like is that uh, you have this uh, monitor on the front. You can see your levels. I think that's a really cool thing. Some of the other audio interfaces, you don't see the levels. So in real time, I can go in and I can change the levels and get the kind of mix that I want. This comes in many different formats. You can see there's two mics in, four mics in, eight mics in, and the prices obviously change. But this is a real nice price point, $160 for an audio interface so that you can plug in your instruments, use them with your DAW programs or your microphones. Now, if that one is maybe a little too expensive for you and you're looking for something a little bit cheaper. PreSonus also does make a $99 version with just one mic in. Focusrite also has the Scarlett Solo and it's one input. You have a lot of the same knobs and everything but what you're missing is that monitor. So if the monitor kind of matters to you then you want to kind of go with the PreSonus instead of the Focus. The Focus definitely will give you what you need. It's a basic interface. You also have two and four ins. So it just depends on your needs. Some really cool things that you can also use along with your audio interface and your music studio is getting something like this. This is the Akai Professional portable USB powered MIDI controller and it has eight velocity sensitive drum pads. So if you're just looking for adding a drum pad to your music studio, then this is gonna be a really cool, small, non-invasive setup that you can get some drums into your studio. If you're looking for something that's gonna add a little bit more to your studio, then this is something that you might look into. This is the Akai Professional Mini MK3 25 key USB keyboard controller plus it also has eight backlit drum pads on it. Now that's not too bad. We're talking about $119 for the price of this MIDI controller and you get the keyboard and the drum pad along with some knobs. So it really depends on what you're looking for. 
you know, the just the drums itself, I mean, we're talking about $55. It depends on your budget for what you want in your studio. So if you're looking for something that's going to be very portable that you can record with and get some great audio from, I have this at school and I use this to record my ensembles all the time. Or if I need to do a, a solo recording of somebody, this is the Tascam Stereo Handheld Digital Audio Recorder and USB interface. Very easy to use. Uh, the USB plugs right into your computer and you can download all the audio from it right onto your computer and you can rename your files. It records in stereo, which is an awesome, really cool thing. The batteries do last a very long time. Uh, you can get many, many recordings with it. Some other recording devices that you might be interested in. I have used this for over a year. This is the Boya M1 3.5 millimeter with a quarter inch adapter. This is what I started out using with my YouTube channel to record my audio. So it plugs right into your smartphone. There's an adapter, it goes right in, and then it has a uh, connector that you can clip on to your shirt or whatever you want. It's a lapel mic and it sounds so awesome. If you go back and you look at any of my videos uh, when I first started a year ago, this is the microphone that I used for all of that. And it's very inexpensive, it's $17.95. I did a review video on this little microphone. This is the Shure MV88 portable microphone that works with your smartphone also. So you just plug this in with this adapter into your phone and this microphone will swivel and change position. And it comes with a nice case, an adapter, and it also comes with the cover for the microphone. It is an excellent microphone. I have used it in many of my videos until probably the last two months. It is an amazing microphone. It really picks up from uh, a good distance away. I would say when you use the app that comes along with it, you can decide in that app how you want that microphone to pick up. So it can be a wide range or it can be very narrow just to pick up a voice or an instrument. I've been as far away as 10 to 12 feet and it's picked me up super well. And again, you can go back and check out some of my earlier videos and you can hear that. Up until two months ago, I was using this as my main microphone. So let's talk about some microphones that you might be wanting to use in your home studio. This is the microphone that I'm using and talking on right now. This is the Audio-Technica. 2035 cardioid condenser microphone. It sounds amazing. For $150, it's $149, you can't get a better microphone at this price point. It is an excellent microphone. I'm super, super happy with it. You know, to me, it's the sound that really makes the microphone, and it just sounds amazing. This was another microphone that I was looking at. This is the Audio Technica 2020. This is the model down from the one that I'm talking on now. When I listened to the two microphones, there wasn't much of a difference. You can see the audio sensitivity is 37 decibels with this one. And with the one that I'm currently talking on, it's 37 decibels. Just slightly more sensitive with the one that I'm speaking on now. But if you're not willing to spend the extra $50, I don't know that you're going to hear a huge difference. For the $50, I don't know that it'd be worth it for you. Uh, at $99, this might be the microphone that most of you are gonna go and choose. It is an excellent microphone. So some things that you may not think about that you might need in your studio. So you might need an interconnect cable for hooking something up, an instrument or some kind of interface. And this is the HOSA interface cable. It's five feet long. You can get these in many different sizes, one and a half, three feet, five, 10, 15, 20 feet. Just depends on your need, but it's an excellent cable. You don't have to go super expensive to get a great cable. So you can see here all the things that goes into this. There's 1,200 uh, ratings on this. There are many, many of these that are sold. Like I said, you don't have to go super expensive to get a great cable. Something else that you might not think about for your studio is that you might need an XLR microphone cable. So if you're gonna buy one of those microphones, 
these cables will do the job. It's under $10 for this cable for 10 feet. Plenty of cable. I've used this cable before. I've used some other cables. There's not much of a difference. It's well worth the price. And you can get this in one pack or two pack. I'll leave links down below. A lot of people have rooms that aren't very conducive for music and you get a lot of echo. One way that you can take care of that is by buying this acoustic foam panel set. You get 12 pieces. They're two inches by 12 by 12 and it's very cool looking. You can organize this into any kind of pattern and it will help deaden the sound. You can't go wrong for 12 pieces for about $27. You can double that for $40 and get a 24 pack. A lot of people like using this, some people don't. I have this uh, boom microphone stand. It allows me to make all kinds of adjustments in my studio. It can be moved all over the place for talking, like I'm doing now. It can be lowered for an instrument or hired for singing, and all of your microphones will fit on this stand. So let's talk about maybe some lighting needs that you might have in your studio. This is the Kutek 2-pack clip-on reading light it's 10 LED rechargeable. Now this can clip on a music stand and it provides so much light. I did a review of this in one of my videos and I'll leave the link down below so that you can check that out. But it is so worth it, especially for the price. One of these is around $15, but you can pick up two for $26.99, which is a much better deal. So check out that video on the review of this. It is an excellent light for a music stand or a piano. No music room or music studio would be complete without a music stand. Now I have this music stand. This is the Manhasset model. It is pretty expensive. It's $41.99, but you will not get a better music stand. This stand has many adjustments. It is made out of solid metal and it is the music stand of choice by all ensembles. Now I did a review on the Manhasset music stand as well as the portable music stands like this one by OnStage. So you might want to click on the link down below to check out that review video. But this is your basic music stand. This is what most students buy. It's about $14.95. You can get this in multiple colors and it's just a basic music stand. It does the job. So nothing special about this, but it does the job. And let's say you didn't want to pay $42 for the ultra premium Manhasset music stand, or you really didn't want that basic bare bones music stand by OnStage for $14.99. You wanted something kind of in between, something that still is portable, but a little more solid. Well, then you'd be looking at something like this. I think they say it, Kai Kahaya. Kahaya. This one is $29.99, so the price point's kind of in between the other ones, leaning more towards the cheaper music stand. Plus, it's a little more portable. It can fold up and you can take it different places. And it does come with this nifty music bag also. So check out the review um, link below if you're interested in a music stand. So now at this point, I think we've covered most of the things that you might have in your studio. Well, I hope this was helpful, me going down through some of these music items that you might want to purchase in the future and get into your music studio or use in your classrooms. All the links will be down below, links for reviews of some of the products, links to those products on Amazon if you want to go check out those products and read some of the reviews. I don't tell you about any products that I wouldn't use or that I feel are kind of inferior. I feel like I want to let you know products that will help you and make your life a little bit easier. If you like the content in the video today, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future content. And as always, thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in my next one.